Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial for FPS Engine. Today I was making some progress to the inventory add-on that I'm currently working on for FPS Engine and I realized that I wanted to have a test. And luckily for us, making interactable objects in FPS Engine is actually very simple. So, you know, let's get into it and I'll show you how you can create your own custom interactables. So, the first thing I'm going to do is making an empty object, let's call it chest and I'm gonna make a new cube and call it graphics so we can actually see something in this scene and I'm gonna move it a bit upwards above the ground there we go so this graphics object has a box collider attached to it so we can actually collide with it so I'm gonna leave this box collider however here the chest which is gonna be the object we'll interact with is also gonna have a box collider but this box collider is going to be trigger and I'm going to make it slightly bigger so something like that is going to work because this is going to define the area where we'll be able to highlight or detect this object as an interactable so yeah I'll, I'll show you later um, but whenever you have this you can just search for the interactable script and as you can see we have an error which says ensure your custom interactable object has the interactable layer assigned. So in order to fix that, we can just go to the layer and click on interactable and click on no, this object only because we only want to change the layer for this object and not the children uh, below. So click on no, this object only and the error is gone. Awesome. Now let's write so interact text, something like open chest and let's play the game and see what what happens. As you can see, we can now detect our interactable. Pretty cool. Now on interacting, nothing really happens. So we're going to change that. As you can see, we have the interactable events and inside this, we have the on interact event. So we can basically subscribe to this and run any custom behavior we want. Uh, so let's do a simple test here where on interacting the chest disappears. So I'm going to drag and drop chest here and then game object set active false and press play. Boom. There we go. It just disappeared just as we wanted the, the chest to do. Okay. Awesome. Now let's take this a step further and instead of just doing this simple uh, set active false, I'm gonna make a brand new script so we can make a method here. So it's gonna be a public void open chest. And here we can do basically whatever we want because this is just an example. I'll make it so it debugs something in the console. So something like, hey, sub to cousins, something like that. Let's save the script and I'm gonna make a new event here and drag and drop the chest component and then chest open chest. So now whenever we interact with the chest, you can see that here in the console you have hey sub to cousins. Awesome. Now this way of making interactable objects is awesome and it works fantastically, but if you want to have some more control on what you can do with the interaction, we can actually make it so uh, we're going to remove the interactable uh, component because chest is going to be our new interactable component. If we open this script, you can see that chest inherits from mono behavior. So um, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to add the Cousins library. And then instead of making it to um, inherit from mono behavior, we can make it to inherit from interactable. So as I said earlier, test is our new interactable component. So I can do open test and everything is going to work the same way as before. Awesome. Now, because the test is an interactable uh, script now, we can access to two different methods. So we have highlight and interact. I'm not going to cover highlight in this tutorial, but I'm going to cover interact so we can actually run some custom behavior on interacting with the chest. So let's click on here. And 
let's make it so for example i lose control of the player and i cannot move or shoot or whatever okay so let's do player get component um player stats and then lose control all right so just like that we can hit play and then on interacting i basically cannot move and it just works as, as expected so that's pretty cool and, and as you can see here in the console we can see uh interacted with with tests so yeah it, it works really nicely and the best thing about this method is that it gives you more control on what you can do with the interact system because you can access the player and the player this transform here is essentially this player and if you have access to this object you have access to all of these components and you can do pretty much anything you need so you can uh, run some code related to player movement related to weapons or the player stats as we just did so we can lose control for instance and so you have a lot of different things and possibilities so as you can see uh, making new interactables in fps engine is very simple and it's gonna take like two minutes it's, it's really not that much of a deal so um, I hope this video was helpful and of course if you need further help or support please let me know in the in the comment section or join our discord server where you know I'll be able to help you way better than on on YouTube so uh, yeah anything you need let me know and see you next time